This week, the IFA is back in Panama City, Florida for day two of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. There's more than $25,000 on the line and the action starts right now. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious redfish tournament series in the nation. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. Panama City, located in the panhandle of northwestern Florida, overlooking the clear waters of the Gulf of Mexico. On day one, we put an IFA camera crew with a father-son team of John and Chris Henninger. They don't look like a keeper. The Henningers struggled to find fish within the Florida slot limit, and at the end of the day, they managed just two small keepers for 738 and a 15th place finish. We had a good time, you know, and uh, we want to thank Cabela's and, and Ranger and uh, the IFA for what they're doing, and, and Lucas Oil for extending out and, and making this happen, and uh, we look forward to next year. Frank Risk and Tony Gaskin had found a big school of reds during practice, but on tournament day, those fish never materialized. And Risk and Gaskin weighed one fish for just over six pounds. Water stayed high a lot longer than it has all week, and um, it didn't really start falling out till it was a little bit too late, and the wind picked up. And like Tony said, we had one shot at our school, and that was four hours into our day, so it made it pretty difficult. Checking the Lucas Oil leaderboard, it was the father-son team of Bo and Bobby Sullivan sacking up better than 14 pounds and taking the lead going into day two. Brandon Jones and Brad Henry are sitting in second, and that's where we'll begin day two coverage. Oh man, we made a little run and you know, found us a found us a pile of fish and you know, fished till about, you know, I'd say we fished till about nine o'clock. Came on back. We've got some of the best in the business on the water this week, and they're fishing for their share of the $25,000 total purse. Teams are looking for two redfish within the 17 to 27 inch Florida slot limit. And for this event, there's no culling. Getting right into tournament coverage, we'll join Brandon Jones and Brad Henry starting their day off in a crowd on a shallow flat. Dude, these jig heads, man, you can't, once you put them on there, they're done. I know, get them off. Fishing less than a cast away, the third place team of Bobby Weir and Matt Schoen set the hook on the first fish oh. of the morning. That's a good sign. Throwing soft plastics on a jig head, Brad sets the hook on their first fish. But this one's not gonna help them any. Vegan. Better check your leader after that cat. Nope. Stay with us. We're just getting started on day two of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open from Panama City, Florida. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Every curve, edge, line, and feature is designed for one quest, to seek, find, follow, and catch fish. It's all part of the Take Charge mission of the Ranger Saltwater Series. Experience the total performance difference at a Ranger dealer today. Whether you're trolling, bowling, drifting, anchored, or chasing the tide, these shallow water legends are built to fish as well as fly. Yamaha Outboards, you love the water, now own it. 
Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time, because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Big old buzzkill. Welcome back to day two of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open from Panama City, Florida. This is the team of Brandon Jones and Brad Henry. They sacked up nearly 13 and a half pound for a second place finish on day one. But here on day two, it seems their fish have moved on. Abandoning their first stop, Jones and Henry packed up and made a short run to check a nearby point. If you don't like it, we'll rock on. Let's see what the tide to do. Right at the top of a high tide. Two lucky bites. Mull in here. I know. I like the way this grass looks. Pretty. What you got? There's, there's something a little swirly shit going on right over there. Swirly stuff going on in the grass. Little different movements in the grass. Just a bite, nowhere around a fish. Huh? Just sort of nowhere, nowhere around one. A boat from back. Well, Jones and Henry keep searching. We'll make a move and check in with our day one leaders, the father-son team of Bo and Bobby Sullivan. The Sullivans are fishing alongside Fred Myers and his partner, Sean O'Connell, who started the day less than a pound behind in fourth place. A small school of reds are working their way across the flat, and Bo makes the flip. Get the net, get the net, get the net. I'm gonna get it out. Troll motor, troll motor, troll. He's right here in the grass there. All day, all day, all day. I don't know where the frozen waters are. Here, right there, here. Get me the frozen water. I'm getting yeah. the fish. Measuring just under 26 and a half inches. Fish number one adds a solid seven pounds to the Sullivan's total weight. A great start on day two. We just need another one, and I'll be real happy. So just trying to get another one in the boat. As soon as we get another one in the boat, we'll be, we'll be heading back. So a little shook up right now. Good job, son. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Back on the second place team of Brandon Jones and Brad Henry, it's been a quiet morning and their live well is still empty. Yeah. Huh? You have a fish on? Oh yeah, trout. That's something. All right, dude, all right, chill. Mm. Some stink on me. Conditions are tough early on day two. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll get right back to tournament coverage from Panama City and the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open, presented by Cavellas. The IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open will return in 2017 with two more events. Due to popularity, we encourage you to sign up early for these as space is limited. For more information, visit ifatours.com. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more. All automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Minn Kota Trolling Motors, anywhere, anytime. And by Lucas Oil, it works. This is the second and final day of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's from Panama City, Florida. We'll get right back into tournament coverage with the day one leaders, Bo and Bobby Sullivan. I got enough water right here to get up and run up there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Fat and happy. Right. You want to go or what? Yeah, I think we need to because that sun's about to pop back out for a few minutes. How much pressure does it take off of you to get one in the boat like that right off? Uh, about a ton. A ton. <laughs> the pressure's not off until you get to, though. Definitely not off until you get to. We, uh, we struggled to get a second fish yesterday, but we got it at about 11.30, so that helped us a little bit. But right now we got to move, trying to get the sun and wind in our back. We're a little bit of a disadvantage since we made the corner. So what we're going to try to do is to make a little move and drift it so we can see. Back on the second place team of Jones and Henry. Huh? Oh, red. Big is it? 
<laughs> Not big enough to win you any tournament. They don't have to play mu play music when you're talking. <laughs> you won't be on that film uh -huh. TV. <laughs> yeah. You already said it was. Uh... <laughs> that other one. Sullivan's have five, so one for better than seven pounds in the well, and they're looking at what they hope is fish number two. That's a fish. That's a fish, bro. That's a red. I just cut the trolling motor off. The wind should blow us in there. There you yeah. go. See that one's back's breaking. That's that one, first one I saw. Let's watch your head. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Come, come, come. Should be right there. That way, but. There he is right there. See him? Behind where I just threw, he broke up. And see him? I can't get there, I don't think. That one's a little short and won't keep. And back on Brandon Jones and Brad Henry, they're having the same problem. Jeez. We hit him. At least we got a morale booster. You in the grass? Two pounds, three pounds. Really? Either. Yeah. Jerking like that? Oh, he's in the grass. God, go muddy. Have five pounds. <laughs> With the clock ticking, the Sullivans are beginning to scramble. They've got one, but they need two if they're going to have any shot at a check. You got a falling time. If them fish went up in them weeds, they're going to be coming back out, right? It's bottomed out. I don't know. Let's go and float around this and see it for a few minutes. All we need is one more fish like just popped up a minute ago and bam. Well, I thought it was all right red, but it wasn't. There's gonna be a fish right here somewhere, right along here. With the first place payout of $11,000 on the line and $6,500 to second, Jones and Henry started the day with a better than even chance of taking home some money. Now with just a couple hours left on the day, those odds have faded. Place is covered up with these little songs. Sleep, sleep. Hang into a spoon rod. Uh, not that water clarity. It's a little cloudy. There's a lot of bait in here, and it's just shining kind of like a spoon. Uh, not as much grass, so I'm gonna try to throw a spoon for a few minutes, see if we can make something happen. Time is running out. Coming up, we'll wrap up tournament coverage and then head back to Panama City Marina for the final weigh-in from Panama City and the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open 
presented by Cabela's. The IFA Redfish Tour is going into our second decade as the premier grassroots inshore tournament series in the country. With two events in each of the five divisions, there's sure to be an IFA event close to you. Come on out in 2017 and join the fun. We'll be right back with more from the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Lucas Oil Marine Products, established by performance, built on quality and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. By Hobie Kayaks. By Arctic Ice, we put the cool in cooler. And by Pure Fishing, built with innovation, fueled by passion. Welcome back to Panama City, Florida, and the 2016 IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open, presented by Cabela's. Time is running out. Our cameras are on the water with the day one leaders, Bo and Bobby Sullivan, and it's decision time. We were talking about going back to where we came from, but with the mother boats being in there, it's, there's not enough fish. So we're trying to right now just figure out whether or not we need to run back and try to catch a three pounder or stick it out here and try to catch a, a six plus. So I, I don't know. So we got one really good fish, got the seven and a half. We're just trying to figure out what to do next. The tide's bottoming out, so we didn't know if we could go back to our first spot. There's a big old black drum. Uh, and maybe pick up a second fish since the tide flipped and we felt like Maybe without, since it got so slow, the mother guys left. And maybe, you know, those fish are back out there in the middle of that flat instead of up there in, in, the, in the bushes. So we don't really know. We, uh, we're in scramble mode now. We gotta figure something out. Brandon Jones and Brad Henry started the day in second, a little more than a half pound out of the lead. And now with the tournament nearly over, their live well is empty. What you got? Probably a little, little head shaker. Huh? What are you telling me? Huh? Are you telling me anything? Nah. Little? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Are you playing with him like he's big? <sighs> he's a little bigger. Better than yours. Better than mine. Let's see how much more he weighed. Probably the same. After a long day on the water, Jones and Henry slipped out of the money, all the way down to 12th place. Back to Panama City Marina, Tony Jackson and Jason Melvin climbed from 8th place up to 3rd with a two-day total of 21.23, earning them a $4,500 check for their efforts. Stepping to the scales with just one fish, Bo and Bobby Sullivan 
finished out the week with a two-day total weight of 21.45. That was enough to keep them in second, earning them $6,500 plus an additional $1,100 in contingency money. We caught that four-pounder, a little over four, and we should have, hindsight, we should have kept that, but with no cull, you know, we kept fishing thinking, oh, we're going to pick up another fish, and then it went to scramble mode. So, you know, that fish cost us, what, six grand or something? But, but, but we should have should have kept that fish, but hindsight's 2020. We swung for the fences, thought we could get two good fish to eat, and it just didn't happen. Looking at the top of the leaderboard, Fred Myers and Sean O'Connell put their local knowledge to use, sacking up a two-day total of 25.04 for a first-place finish and earning them a check for $12,650. Oh, man, it means a lot. Um, you know, the win in your home waters uh, is, is always a, a big pressure. I mean, you know, you live here, uh, people kind of expect you to win and all that stuff, but it doesn't always work out that way. Fishing your home waters is one of the toughest things to do, and, uh, and especially in Florida when you're uh, really playing the tide and trying to be at 10 different places at one time, but it means a lot, it means a lot. I, hey, I gotta say the same thing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy for Fred for winning here because I know a lot of pressure's on him. He did all the scouting for this one. I just showed up and was managed to get my hooks in a few fish's mouth. Uh, you know, it's tough, that non-call rule that they had. I never had gone through that. I live in Louisiana. Redfish is definitely different over there. Uh, I enjoyed the challenge. It's definitely finicky and, you know, the fish are completely different here. But uh, we got in a pattern that was, you know, pseudo similar to some of the stuff I do back home. I mean, just some, you know, long casting and things like that. But it was enjoyable, man. It was, you know, Fred's local knowledge really got it because that last minute fish is what got it for us today. Here's a look at the final standings from Fatima City and the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open. And closing out the season, Rusty Jewett and Tim Jacobson are the 2016 Lucas Oil Redfish Open Team of the Year, earning them free entries for the entire 2017 season. Congratulations. A big thanks go out to our host, Panama City, Florida, and the Panama City Marina. Also thanks to Cabela's, Ranger Boats, and of course, Lucas Oil. To learn more about any of the IFA tournament series, please visit ifatours.com. The IFA Redfish Tour is a Careco TV production. Thanks for watching.